Good evening guys, Apex here and welcome back to another Phasmophobia solo adventure. It is the middle of the night, it is dead silent here. I got the lights turned off and curtain shut and everything. So I'm ready for some good scares and hopefully a uh, good Phasmophobia episode here. Now before we get started I do think we need to pay homage to uh, what they've done to the uh, garage and, and the lobby here because uh, with the last update uh, th they had some minor fixes and whatnot. I think maybe they added a new ghost or something. But for me, the main thing was that they did a whole uh, an, an overhaul of not not just what is the lobby, but also the um, the base of operations here in the garage. So I think they've done a great job here. So I think it's only fair that we do a little base tour uh, before we get started, because I'm such a fan of this not just being where you're deciding on like this this is both the player lobby where we're deciding on what to do and whatnot as well as you know the main place where we would hang out before and after missions so i think this is a very important room and such so them taking the time to overhaul it and put in the work i really like that uh so yeah let's give it a base tour before it gets started so yeah in in the uh very uh beginning here you have the main hub of operations, very cozy corner in my opinion, standing on this nice carpet with the uh, br bright fluorescent light over you. I think it adds a very nice cozy atmosphere and I like to be um, surrounded by, uh, by uh, numbers and graphs and whatnot when I'm uh, doing work. Uh, so I think I, I, feel, I feel like I'm productive and cozy right now <laughs> and that, that's a great feeling in front of me we have the uh, main menu of course to the left followed by the daily and weekly challenges as well as the players that are involved in the session to the left of that we have another board with a new layout for the um, for the different maps and stuff uh, so they've changed the order of the maps uh, somewhat uh, as well as added a few new maps or rather subsections of maps I guess I would call it because basically what I think they've done here is, is taken the asylum and the Maple Lodge campsite two very large maps and they've restricted the areas and made two new maps out of it uh, although you're in the same map uh, you're but, but you're restricted to a smaller area and I actually really like that because the, uh, I'm a huge fan of summer camps and you know camp maps like this but Maple Lodge campsite was just way too big for me as a solo player to play on at least the level of amateur I am in this game so I wouldn't go there by myself but now since what I think they've done is restricted the area uh, I don't think it's a brand new map I think it's restricting the area there I could maybe play on it. Maybe now it's not so big. Uh, so we'll we'll, uh, we'll either try those out when it's those maps turns, or I'll end up trying it with my friends and making like a funny, goofy video of it. Uh, but yeah, I like what they've done there and such. Then we have these little markers, which you can then use to to mark off and vote which map you want to play on. Now, I only play by myself or with friends, so we would never get into a dispute like on voting different maps. We'd, ag we'd agree or we'd talk until we agree on a map and then we'd all vote it. So uh, this, I guess, is for pug groups mainly. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, I, I like the layout of it and whatnot. And then to the right, we have a brand new uh, sh loadout slash shop system. Now I gotta say I really like the again the layout and the looks of it although I do feel it's <laughs> kind of poorly made in some regards. Uh, I w definitely some ways they could have made this better so this is something I'll get back to at the end here because I think we should continue with the base tour first but yeah I want to rant a little bit about about that one because I do think they could have made it better. Um, but yeah, behind there we have a very neat corner. 
at least in my opinion because uh, it's like a shop front here where you have all the items on display and me being the person I am very much like having my stuff organized and uh, tidy and uh, you know easy easy to get and stuff I have my camera equipment and tools and you know um, sports sporting equipment and whatnot a lot like this and I, I really like it so yeah this 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 uh, wall this whole section is uh, this uh, whole section is a winner for me so uh, that's a very good addition in my opinion next corner we have what I guess is like some kind of a displaying area where you have I'm not sure what you should call them collectibles trophies but it's basically the various bones and cursed items you come across when playing the game so as you can see there are empty shelves there because I haven't played a bunch since they added this but that's what I think is happening here that they're adding them uh, one after another as you come across them then you have a row here which is empty at least for now because it's apparently stuff that hasn't come out yet next up we have an open floor and I am a huge fan of open floors I really it's just so cozy in my opinion uh, to have th those inside of uh, houses and whatnot I build it every time I play seven days to die <laughs> so yeah upstairs here you have a hobby room basically where you have various games um, Jenga I believe this one is called this bowling of course not sure what this is called bit of a random wall with newspaper clippings and stuff not sure why that wouldn't be downstairs with you know other import uh, other stuff like maybe the pictures which we haven't come to yet but yeah I'm not really sure why that's there it could have been at the main hub area as well like you know where you're planning um, planning your missions and whatnot so a little random to have it up in the hobby room here because yeah we have the you know the basketball and some accessories to the various games there and whatnot so uh, yeah a very neat room and this is these are actually functional like you can actually play here not that I've spent a lot of time with it but I can definitely appreciate the um, the the immersiveness of it and you know uh, just just have just having this here I do wish they would have added a pool table I think every garage command center needs a pool table it wouldn't even have to be operational just as a decor item that would be really neat they could have it down here too that would have been cool Downstairs below here we have a room that has not yet at least been taken into use because you can't open this door Maybe one day they will add something there Over here you have the various pictures you've taken from uh, the missions and stuff and here is maybe what I think you could have had the newspaper clippings You know next to this because this wall is rather naked and it I'm not sure what why it would be upstairs with the hobby room um, over here you got a table ghost hunting uh, survivor's guide as well as these clipboards with the daily and weekly challenges it's gonna be the same ones that are hanging on the wall over there but uh, for immersiveness sake I really like that they've made it into like a pick upable item as well as this radio here adding a bit of extra immersion for hanging out and stuff because to me it's not just you know the garage and where we're planning stuff it's also you know the main hub where we are spending time before and after missions so I, I I really appreciate any immersive stuff they add to it and then maybe my favorite part of all of this is that they've basically merged the um, the truck the mobile command center that used to be just outside the garage but it was all locked and inaccessible They've now basically merged it into the garage, so you can walk into it now directly from the from the uh, garage and such. And again, for from an immersive standpoint, I'm loving the idea that you know we'd we'd plan our mission, we'd collect our gear, we'd carry it into the truck here, and you know get get moving and stuff. Now, of course, that's not how it actually works in the game, mechanic-wise, but. Yeah, just I I like feeling immersed, especially in uh, horror games that I play. So I I appreciate that honestly. So yeah, that's the base tour, and I think they've done a very good job with this. Um, the only the only thing I don't like that much is 
something I'll show you here about this new loadout slash shop menu which I think acts very quirky. So the idea here is that you're now supposed to be able to save loadouts here. I, I guess you have two loadouts you can save. And then you can add the items you want and then add them all uh, and, and put them all on the on the board. I guess we have to get into an actual game first. But yeah, here you have the equipment list, which is what everyone is bringing. And then you can go into here and then add a full loadout. So this would be my loadout right now. So I could simply add this. I think it remembers it uh, between sessions. So I'm just adding that. And it gives me exactly the stuff that um, I had like saved from last time. So I like that. I like that. Uh, I do think, first of all, that there could be some improvement uh, on how this is this is used because um, this is like the global list for everyone to see, and I think it's I think it would have been better if we also had like the list of the stuff you own next to it so each person they would have you know their their list of uh, stuff uh, uh, listed next to it so they could more easily see that okay we're missing video camera okay i'll bring it from here like it would be the same screen it would be the same menu instead you're having to look at oh we're missing video camera then you have to go here and add it and such so i, I would have preferred it f for them to finally merge these two and have it so that all the players could see the inventory they have uh, next to the global equipment list, aka what everyone is bringing. Um, but yeah, that's just something I wish they would uh, improve upon in the future. A thing here that really annoys me is how quirky it is adding stuff. So now I just remove everything that I own. Uh, so the way they've listed it here is is it it's uh backwards from what i would have assumed um uh, the way the way i do math at least cuz okay so i own one video camera but it's telling me one out of zero that's not how math works um if i now add the camera it tells me one out of one and then if i add another one all that don't own one one out of two one or three like it's shouldn't it be opposite it's telling me that i'm bringing one out of three camera but am i not bringing three and and even then it would be wrong because y you know you can't bring you can't bring three out of one camera either but it's it's letting me go all the way up into five which i guess is the max quantity you can own but it's not actually adding cameras now because I don't own more of them. Uh, but yeah, I feel uh, these numbers are mirrored. Or <laughs> even then, even then, it's weird because you're adding a camera, and now it's one out of one. It's so weird to me. So let's say let's say something I own more of. Um, let's say crucifix, for instance. So right now it says crucifix. 3 out of 0 and if I add one now I'm now bringing 3 out of 1 that doesn't make any fucking sense it should obviously be bringing 1 out of 3 because you have what you're bringing uh, and then you have how many you own so you'd be bringing 1 out of 3 or 2 out of 3 or 3 out of 3 but you, you're not bringing 3 out of 1 so I feel it's backwards but even then it's letting you it's letting you take with you more than you're actually owning. Um, like here, I only own one video camera, but it lets me go all the way up to until five here. So eh, I, I really think they could have could have done that better because it's so backward for me. And my friends and I really had to like look at this and try back and forth because we didn't understand how this was working. It's not really common math. Uh, that you have the larger number first you're bringing three out of one camera uh, but yeah other than that if they could just fix this I, I think it I think it would be uh, I think it would be pretty okay so yeah you have your loadout here which I then add with one button uh, and then you can do the same if you have enough items to con consistently do that uh, after each game so 
yeah, it, it could be good if they just iron out some of these quirks, which uh, I assume at least this is wrong. I can't imagine this is actually correct, because to me it didn't make sense and none of my friends either, so I think it's I think it was a weird choice to have it like that. But yeah, we're gonna get started, gonna jump into a game and uh, the map of choice is Grafton Farmhouse and uh, that is because I I used to have before they before they overhauled the garage and this this um, this uh, road map of maps <laughs> they uh, you know I was going top left to bottom right and I figure I just continue that it would be very complicated if I now start doing like in between maps that I haven't done and stuff so I just went back to watch the latest video I had which I think was episode 4 and in that one I did I don't remember what it was called but uh, the next one would have been Grafton Farmhouse which is then the one we're doing so I'm adding like a marker to that as a vote so yeah we're gonna do the farmhouse and uh, <laughs> I probably mentioned before how I feel about farmhouses. They have very large rooms, so it takes you longer to run away from the ghost and break line of sight. So I do think farmhouses are harder. They're also creepier because they are darker, like they have a darker paint job. I mean, the wood versus what, uh, the, what the, these modern houses have, which I guess is generally white. So you get a lot less light inside the farmhouses I've noticed so they are darker and then you have larger rooms as well so I think farmhouses are are harder uh, but yeah we're gonna play it and uh, hopefully we'll have us some fun welcome back I prepared some jobs for you alright so I just uh, finished that game um, but I'm electing not to put out that recording because uh, although it had a good uh, jump scare on me um, and, a fa and a fake hunt, it's, I was never in a huge uh, d danger there and uh, I got all the, all the clues to identify it. So I, I, would, I would just be going inside the house to, again to like mess with him more for the sake of getting a more exciting video so uh, I, that's something I've done but that's also how you end up losing all my money because I, I go in there and you know take an extra risk for no no reward like I know what kind of ghost it is I have the clues and everything so I'm literally risking uh, losing a bunch of equipment and money for no reward so instead I'm taking uh, the win get a bit of money and I'll instead just uh, redo the map and hope for a bit more of an exciting uh, uh, time because uh, yeah like I said ex except a few jump scares and a, and a fake hunt it had um, it was pretty um, it was pretty a pretty easy session so yeah I'll take the money and we'll we'll go again same house and uh, yeah see if I uh, get a different experience this time. I can't believe I'm going back into this fucking house. <laughs> it's so creepy in there. Like the, the modern houses all have white walls and these farmhouses have a dark v wooden v wall so they they let they bounce a lot less light so it's constantly darker there no matter if you turn on the lights or not. And then you have creepy, creepy items like uh, creaky floors and rocking chairs and old clocks and whatnot. So <laughs> I do prefer the modern houses for my own sanity. Uh, oh, and not to not to uh, mention that th they are there are less rooms and they are usually a lot larger. So every time the ghost hunts, I have to run further to break line of sight, so it puts me at a greater risk. But that's just what I gotta do when the last episode, uh, or the last recording, uh, last session, wasn't uh, good enough for me to put out there. So we're doing it again. And hopefully I want... I, I want to have an episode where I 
barely escape. I do want to escape, but I want it to be really entertaining. Repel the ghost with a smudge stick while it's chasing someone. Mm, okay, maybe do that. Get a ghost to blow out a candle. I think I brought that. Get an average sanity below 25%. Honey, I do my best work when I'm under 25%. So, I think we should be able to do those three. Uh, okay, so yeah. Oh, you can pick these up too. Can I put it back? The f <laughs> Did I just... <laughs> I don't think I actually... Yeah, it just landed on top of that. I don't know how you put it back. <laughs> Alright, Michelle Roberts responds to everyone. I noticed they removed the the story. Although I know it was a generic story and it was the same every time. Uh, now it's literally just the name and who it responds to. Um, okay, so we're gonna get loaded up. Now... I used to rely on the thermometer like it was my god. And I do still think it is the safest way to determine which room is the ghost room. But since uh, there's going to be a period of time until it, the house stabilizes temperature wise. I've started trying to you know, make something out of that time and not just stand around waiting for it to stabilize. You, you could use the time to bring in equipment and stuff. But I've started um, instead listening more for the ghost. If you have a ghost that's like throwing stuff around, you can sometimes find the ghost room. Uh, or at least get some hints where it would be with just that. Oh, I th okay, I don't think I saw the fuse box on the, on the map on the first floor. I think I saw it in the attic, right? Alright, let's go. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Sprint upstairs, turn it on, and then start uh, start looking for the bone and the cursed item as well as listening for the ghost. So I've I've gotten better uh, at uh, at uh, using the time and such, because the house is gonna take some time to get warmed up. I think it takes longer if it's supposed to be a freezing room. Like let's say it takes three minutes. If it's a cold room, which it always is, um, except if it's a freezing room. But I think because uh, sometimes I've I've determined okay this room is cold, then I'll come back later, and it was freezing. So I think freezing rooms take longer to become that cold uh, after you turned on the power, which makes a lot of sense. You know, the other rooms warm up, the cold room goes colder. Mm. Is that a fucking axe? Above the desk? Like this is just extra creepy. You see how dark it is here? The light is on in this room. Two of them. And yet... You don't see shit here. But yeah, I'll look for the bone, the cursed item, while also looking for, or listening for clues to his whereabouts. Now, I haven't actually seen the tarot cards, or tarot cards, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. So, I don't know what I'm looking for. And the reason I haven't seen them is either because I've just been unlucky, or because they're so small that they are easily missed, which might be the case. So, if it is uh, the cards, for instance, I might not find them. I wonder if they can be inside uh, closets like that. Oh, that's a voodoo doll. We got our cursed item. Oh, that that probably goes into the uh, trophy case display area now. Have I had this on while I've been looking? <laughs> or did I forget it? 
All right, so we're still a bone short. I think I'll go get the uh, uh, thermometer now. Again, I don't think it would show a freezing room because I think a freezing room would take longer than a cold room. But I think it's stabilized enough to find the ghost's cold room. And then we can determine later if it's a freezing room or not. Alright, so this is like one, one room and then it's a different one in there. Like it's separated here, I believe. Fuck. I should talk more. I don't want to hear the ghost. <laughs> At least if I talk, I'll be less scared because I was... I didn't I didn't hear it as well, but if I'm quiet when it happens. Is that another axe? And this one is on the dining table. This game is so much like paranormal activity. Like you like like the movies, not the not the adjectives. But uh but yeah, like nothing happens until it happens and when it happens it's scary as fuck but until then nothing actually happens oh my god the fa oh my god the fan scared me the fan looked like something entirely different i think i heard a door I would not live in this place. So fucking dark here. <sighs> oh my god. He's touching a lot of doors. It doesn't have to be that room though. Oh, fuck, it took the light. I'm running, I'm running. I'm staying in the fucking dark. <laughs> Fairly certain he's gonna be downstairs though. I mean, we haven't checked temperature here, but considering he kept touching stuff there in that area, I'm guessing. Uh, he will be uh, downstairs there somewhere. One of those, uh, that one of those inner rooms there to the right. <sighs> I keep hearing doors. Just let me find a room. I'm so fucked if he's actually behind me now when he manifests and starts a hunt. <laughs> Did I jinx myself by saying that? I'm gonna scream like <gasps> No! <laughs> oh my god. Wait. It was a fake. It was a fake, wasn't it? Is the door closed? No, it is. Oh my god, he. Oh, it was a fake. It was a fake hunt. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have a webcam on. <laughs> I don't think I would like my face there. <laughs> but yeah, I want, as I was starting to say that, if, if it's a ghost that's in one of the other rooms behind me while I go into this room, then, you know, I'm, in, I'm at a dead end. But I think it is that innermost room, or or this one, or this one. 
Like, I think I just heard. I would, I, I would actually love it to be this room. Because I've never had this room. No? Also, it's a room very much in the corner, leaving me a lot of space, a lot of other rooms to run to. How is it not there? So what, is it actually one of these two? Oh, it's this one. You see how fucked that would have been? I went in there, the ghost spawns usually here, probably, you know, close to its room, and then I'm at a dead end. Okay, I hate this, but I have to go and look for a bone. Okay, there's a the bone. Okay, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. <laughs> and it was freezing there. <laughs> I could have been really unlucky there uh, with the um, with the uh, fuse box room, you see, because if the ghost room is there, and it could have been the fuse box, the fuse box room could have been there, meaning I would have been in that dead end spot that I was just here now, that if the ghost spawns, it's most likely spawning around its room, and then if I find myself in a fucking corner but okay so it's that room so I'm guessing I'll flee upstairs if it comes it'll be the most turns and whatnot yeah what's my sanity like that high still after what happened to me wait did I what did I do with the... What did I bring in? EMF? Camera? A flashlight. Oh, I thought I brought the book. Okay. Oh, Robin, yeah, I guess I didn't know the room. Hmm. Alright, let's start with the book, because sometimes ghosts can take a while to write in that. Uh, I don't suppose we have the candle. Oh, yeah, we do. So we should honestly get that set up rather quickly. Because it can be quite random how long it takes the ghost to interact with such an item. So I'd rather have it be. <laughs> I'd rather have it be early. <laughs> Don't kill me, stupid bitch. That's a very small room though, so I only need one dots projector to light it up. So instead I'm gonna use the other dots projector to highlight the way I wanna run. Because uh, usually I, I would use the boat to give myself a larger field of view to spot the ghost. And then I would take it and, and use it uh, for my escape route. But with this room being so so small, I should easily be able to just place it. E I I don't have to even place it inside the room. I could just place it here. It has to f it has to frequent here. That's in between several rooms, and it's in front of its main room. It's gotta be great, great spotting spotting it there. So it's it's like an intersection there. Let's grab this. I know they're supposed to help you see fingerprints and whatnot, but safety first. <laughs> so we're gonna use them for uh, for uh, whew, like like breadcrumbs to f to find a room. I'm I'm figuring I wanna come to this room. It has a couple of cabinets. Plus, it's also the furthest away I can think of. Alright, we have the bone, we have the cursed item actually, speaking of. Ah, I'll just leave it in there, because honestly, I would only use it if it's, if it's a very passive ghost that I can't find any proof of. Speaking of proof, we know it's freezing. And I got the book in there, I got the candle in there, the candle is in lit though. So, let's bring... 
a lighter? Oh no. I think I forgot lighter. <clears throat> but that that means I can't smudge stick either. God damn it. The two of the objectives are lost now cuz I Didn't bring a light, uh huh? Alright, um, let's do cameras next. So I usually have one camera for for the uh, in front, just in front of the dots projector, and one like inside the room at a good angle to see uh, to see uh, orbs. But sometimes, and I guess maybe in this case, it could be one of the same, because honestly it's such a small room that I'm so close to seeing the dots. Ah, fuck it, I'll place one here. But yeah. Stop. Please. Oh my god. Oh my fuck. Oh my god. It faked it again. <sighs> That's the second fake hunt. But they're just as scary as the real ones, because other than the door closing, it's exactly like a real one. Although I'm not sure it can kill. Okay, this 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 ghost is so fucking active. Because you see, I mean, these two cameras will practically see the same thing because it's such a small room. <sighs> oh, I kind of forgot what I was doing. <laughs> Moan, <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Fucking fake hunts. And if it was Lyra, who's played this game way more than me, so I think she's more jaded to it, she would try to take a picture then, because I think the ghost does manifest itself when it does that. But if you think I'm. I, I forget the buttons that's how scared I get and if I th if you think I would uh, would not not just you know run I would actually bring out the camera turn around try to take a picture instead of running for their life it's not a thing you should do when you're alone I think because if it fails I get killed and then it's just game over at least if I have you know teammates I'd be able to, uh, they would be able to benefit from it. But I guess zero real hunts, just two fake hunts, huh? Can't say I see any orbs. This one is this one is active. Shouldn't there be fingerprints quite easily found then? Lights out. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole ghost. That's three fake hunts. 
three. Okay, you better have touched something. I want, I want payment for this bullshit. So this is just trolling me. Are you gonna tell me it didn't touch anything? It's been so fucking active. It's been moving stuff. It's been opening doors non stop. Where did I put the EMF detector? I brought it, right? What is that? Dots and camera. Where's that then? Uh. Hmm. Alright, uh, I turn off the lights at least. I should be able to see uh, orbs or dots a little easier, I think. I'm mainly looking for orbs right now. And this camera. <laughs> I can't see shit with that one. I'll give it a minute. Hmm. But yeah, did I did I miss? Did I misplace my EMF? Hmm. Either I would have thrown it somewhere inside the house because I swapped item or I, I saved it. Or I would have brought it back to the van. If I had it this time around. Something up there. What is that? Oh, it's a reflection. I was <laughs> like, is there something? Is it like a cobweb or something up there? That would have been scary as shit. Cannot spot any orbs or dots. Hmm. Fuck. We need more evidence. Hmm. No. Could I talk to it? Michelle Roberts. I don't like this part. <laughs> it's already scared the fuck out of me three times. Now I'm supposed to talk to it. Hey, there it is! Oi, 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 it wrote, it wrote, it wrote. Revenant Shade Demon. <laughs> the worst kinds! <laughs> it's real. I think it's real. It's real, it's real, it's real. It's a real hug, it's a real hug. See, I don't know if it's still hunting. I think it is. Fuck. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay. 
I should obviously do this in a car. Sitting in the dark is no good. But Demon Maroi Revenant Shade. Ghost Orb. EMF5. Fingerprints. Spirit box. So not not dots, so I can remove that camera. Go cool. Oh fuck. Is it downstairs? Is it upstairs with me? I can't fucking tell. I think it's downstairs. It was here. It was here. Right here. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so it can't be dots. I'm gonna move this camera. Hundred percent sure if uh, ghost orbs has f have have to be in 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 in. Uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm not sure if ghost orbs have to be inside the ghost room. Although I would say more often than not they have been in my experience. So that would have been my guess. Okay, but it can't be dots. I'm not seeing any orbs here. That's outside. I see something on the screen there, but it's not orbs. <sighs> I don't think it's orbs. So what is it then? Was Mere one of the options? No. Demon Revenant Shade. I don't think it's that. MF5 mm, could be, but it went up to 4 while I was in there. I would say either Demon with Fingerprints. Uh, I forgot the last one. I'm alright. So spirit box of fingerprints. Alright. Where's my sanity? 21. Should I go below that? <laughs> but it's gonna hunt if I talk to it now. <laughs> alright, I'll check that. I, I have a better success rate getting an answer than I have finding fingerprints, so... Did I close that or did it go close? Okay, I closed that. <laughs> oh, was it Michelle Roberts? I think it was. <laughs> Fuck me. I don't want this. Oh no! <gasps> I ran past it. My head was so programmed on running that one direction that even if I spotted it in front of me, I didn't think like... I was just like, get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> I don't know if it's done hunt. Was it even a hunt? Was it maybe just a scare? It could have just been a scare. <laughs> okay, I want to get below 25 so I can eat some fucking pills. Oh. 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 Oh.
don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. Mich All right. Michelle Roberts, are you here? Michelle Roberts, are you here? Michelle Roberts, give me a sign. Michelle Roberts, are you here? Michelle Roberts, talk to me. Michelle Roberts, where are you? Michelle Roberts, talk to me. Michelle Roberts, where are you? I don't, I don't think it's it. I know. And I feel it's unlikely. That leaves fingerprints and uh, EMF five. Huh? I believe in the fingerprints more. Oh <laughs> God! Fuck! I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> this ghost is a motherfucker. This ghost just keeps scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't even know how much is hunted, but it, all it does is just scare me. <laughs> it has hunted a couple of times. Zero. That's nice. Fucking zero, are you kidding me? <sighs> well, I don't have to use the voodoo doll, I'll tell you that. <sighs> Alright, but we're under 25. We're popping both. <laughs> well, I'm not going in there as I am. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, there's a fingerprint in the EMF. Let's get this fucking over with so I can leave. I do not want to play with this ghost anymore. <laughs> Oh, the cross has been burnt. Why don't I bring the second one? Because of an EMF and flashlight, right? Suppose I could get s some more money with the salt, but honestly, this one has been such a motherfucker. I kind of just want to go home. This this is not the kind of game you make money in. Wait, wait, it's a fake. It's a fake. Oh my fucking god. You fucking asshole. You fucking asshole. You piece of fucking shit. Vala held the cross. That cross didn't work for shit. Where is my motherfucking camera? I wanna get this salt over with. Fuck me. It's been scare after scare after scare. I'm gonna get this so fucking quickly. It's so fucking active. What am I looking for? There was something. Oh, the cross. Where did I chuck it? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't know where it is. I chucked it while I was running. That one's been used once. I can't find it. What now? You gonna play koi? Fuck you, ghost. Hunts me no fucking non stop.
does it have to be like around where the ghost does stuff or is it just like random like it just appears I don't really know like would it have to physically open a door or is it just like you know RNG when it appears there it's literally just waiting for my sanity to go lower I wanna get this fucking last clue and get the hell out of here. Oh, I know what I can do. I can place the, um, while I wait here, I'll place this in front of my eyes. There. What the fuck was those extra f footsteps about? Do I get more money if I take more more pictures? <laughs> Jesus Christ. My sanity is just gonna go lower. I, I'm not going further in there. If it spawns behind me, I'm fucked. EMF, it wasn't either. I mean, it wasn't. I couldn't find any orbs. Camera's in a good position, right? Yeah. Am I just unlucky with the last? I'll try the fucking box again, I guess. It was Michelle Roberts, though, right? that fucking thing. Uh. <laughs> Michelle Roberts, are you here? Michelle Roberts, give me a sign. Michelle Roberts, talk to me. the last proof I don't, I'm going back into the truck I'm, I'm gonna look for orbs again I I've tried so many times now I've looked for fingerprints I've looked for I've looked for all of them so I'm, I'm I gotta be unlucky here right sometimes you just find them so quickly that was happened last time and that was why it's a good money game but not not the greatest episode for you know entertainment value I'm seeing stuff on the ground there I'm seeing something there but I think it's just reflections of the screen and maybe some of this like glass bottles and stuff this camera covers a large room I have such a hard time thinking it could be uh, ghost orbs. <sighs> Fuck. Michelle Roberts. Where's my sanity? Yeah.
Oof, I should just guess, but I don't know. I, I won the last game, so I've, I, I feel more up for the task of going for a bit more risk. But honestly, it's it feels futile because I can't find I can't find the last one. Okay, so it was what was it? Orbs, um, EMF five. Didn't see that. Fingerprints didn't see that, and she didn't talk to me. Spirit box. Alright, last time in there. I'm not. I, I'm giving it one try uh, with each item now. I'm staying here max two minutes. Because then, I mean, I mean, my sanity is already low. So, I figure it's gonna be zero any second now. I mean, not any second, but. One more event and it's zero. Speaking of which, Fuck. These, these lights are legit saving me but it won't work forever or I will be unlucky and run into it or something Michelle Roberts are you here? I'm clear. Sanity is probably so low, it's just gonna hunt non stop. I gotta get out. Luckily, the ghost room is actually quite far into the house. It started hunting just as I got to the door. Yes! Yes, I win! Oh, oh my god. I had to fight for that one. I had to struggle and fight for that one, but I got it done. I got it done. 20%. Yes, I'll, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh my god. Oh, that feels so good. But yeah, like... I one time had it in, in, I think it was the other farmhouse actually, where the ghost room was somewhere downstairs and it was like around where the door would be and and I was upstairs and I had no sanity so it, every time I tried to go down the stairs and try to leave, because I was done, I, I just wanted to get out, it just, it would not stop hunting me, like I could not get out and eventually it got me, so thank god it's actually you know, slightly further into the house, so I could actually get out this time around. But yeah, I fucking made it. I fucking made it. Okay, so I got the bone, the cursed item, uh, picture of it, and I picked up the bone. I can't do these. I don't have the light there, so the only thing I could I could try to take a picture of the ghost, but fuck that, fuck that. We going home. We going home, and we're done with the second farmhouse, baby. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on, show it to me, show it to me. Double victory on farmhouse. Come on, show it to me. <sighs> Damn, I had to struggle for that motherfucker. I talked to it several times. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Hmm. 
<laughs> ah, yes, give it to daddy. That was lit. Did my loadout not have a lighter though? I guess it didn't. Hmm. I'll make sure I fix that next time though. Oh yeah, let's let's go see over here. Should it have a doll? Wait. Shouldn't there be a doll here? Oh no, I probably have to use it. Oh yeah, but uh, fuck that that round. <laughs> I wasn't about to use it there. Because that's if you have like a passive ghost and you need to throw it out. I, I did not have a passive ghost. I did not have to throw it out. <laughs> I, that's it for tonight though. Since I've played two games now. Uh, although the first one, you know, it wasn't super exciting. So... We went for a second game and I fucking beat it, but just barely. And yeah, that was that was a fucking rush though. I'm gonna head to bed now. Uh thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next map and the next uh solo adventure. Take care guys.